Anyway, we are back at our base. I shifted the iron ore over here. That's about so we've got about 18 bits of iron ore. Um, now I need to upgrade the smelter and the primitive forge, and that should allow us to actually smelt iron and also forge iron drills. So we also have to craft ourselves some of this stuff, uh, this particular mold, in order to upgrade the forge. Right. In order to upgrade the f this, uh, in order to upgrade the smelter, you need two massive stones. Aside from the ones you carry normally, lol, <laughs> and two pieces of clay. I shall need a hammer, which I should have, but I'll have to repair it. I've actually found the stone hammers are one of the most effective uh, crafting tools. Reason being that, to repair them, you only need a couple of stones. So just for that fact, just for the fact that it takes two stones to repair, I preferred stone hammers, as opposed to, say, uh, copper or, uh, or uh, iron hammers. Unless you've got way too much metal. Because early on, metal is actually kind of scarce. So it's better to stay with stone hammers, personally speaking. There you go, improved smelter. Now, the benefit, yeah, the additional benefit of having a, no, the improved smelter is that you get two slots now. It's actually a lot more fuel efficient. Now, let's light this up. That's why I lit this lamp. Ah, yes. Ah, I should pick up. Where's my... Yeah, here. Yeah. I always recommend using the best, uh, the best tinder. When you're starting a fire with a, with, a, with a torch. Because it significantly reduces how long it takes to start the fire. And basically, time is money when it comes to the torch durability. So yes, anyway, let me fuel this. And then we'll pick up one, two, three, four. Get the iron smelting. Right, that will take one and a half hours. Okay, so in order to craft the mold for sabers, we need four clay strips. Do I have that many? No, I don't. Now, fortunately... Just make some here. That will take 20 minutes. Let me swap this over. Yep. So you do have to keep track of this stuff. Yes, 15 new blueprints unlocked. A mere 15 new blueprints. Yikes. So let's check out what we just unlocked. Yep, iron saw. Iron hammer. Yep, pickaxe, iron shovel, needle. Now, I think you definitely should be crafting an iron pickaxe. Everything else is kind of optional. Aside from uh, trying to get perk points, right? Yeah, flint and steel and iron flint. Yeah, I don't think this is worthwhile until you have a, a massive oversupply of iron. Reason being that it takes twice as much. And if, you're, so if your fire starting skills are actually good enough, which they should be by this stage, yeah, you get a 30% bonus anyway, so you can kind of get away with just using a normal fire starter. And I think that this is good enough. Crossbow bolts. I definitely think that the iron crossbow is worth it. It's 100 damage per shot. Or you can't stick with the horn crossbow. I actually got through the entire region just using the horn crossbow, and uh, yeah, it's good enough, really. And I think to repair it, you just need horns and maybe a bowstring. But anyway, you do have to make one for the perk. But the problem is that it takes up, yeah, a set of tools, which is bad. The most important thing about the new update is the schooner. The ships do actually require sets of tools, unfortunately. And spoilers, to fully upgrade the schooner, which is definitely worthwhile, you need four. And down here is, yep, yeah. all knife blades, yep, 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 yep. And yeah. Okay, so that's four. Um, that's gonna be, oh shit, is that enough? Should be five, six, seven. <sighs> Ooh, okay, I may have to. Right, now let's light you up. Okay, got enough fuel, yep, three minutes. I should probably fire this as well, while I'm here. Yeah, let me get that, we'll fire that up. Because you definitely need a pot, and yes, I don't think I'll be I'll be going back. You do find a fire pot somewhere in, under the water, but I don't think that I'll be going back before I finish the schooner. Yeah, and to fully upgrade the schooner, you actually need the, a fire pot. So yes, the reason being that you get one of those uh, fully upgraded hearth with pots. I think the latest hotfix actually adds a water storage tank too. Anyway, for some reason... The forge and the smelter gives you ash. There's no purpose for these things yet, but I'm collecting them anyway because I feel like they'll become useful at some point. Yeah, something tells me that that would be the case. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Clay with pot. Mm -hmm. And I have to read these books as well. So Now, one thing I do like about the game is that the mechanics change over time. So early on, you're struggling, for example, to, to collect enough leaves and enough uh, coconuts to survive on, right? But soon enough, food stops being an issue. Now you're focusing on getting in better tools. 
or you upgrade into hunting, right? So the game is very interesting in that sense. It doesn't overstate welcome. So in order to upgrade the smelter, you need uh, two copper ingots, three iron tree branches, a clay mold, which we just made, and a massive stone. So let me go pick them up. So we'll have eight. Eight iron ingots. Is that enough? Okay, I'll fire it up again. We'll go for one more round of iron, even though it's a bit of a waste. But, yeah. I wish you could be more granular with this, by the way. Right, time to finish this. Needles. Um, I don't think you need needles. Unless I'm mistaken. You do need nails. So what I'll do is I'll make the base for the crossbow, the iron nails. I should probably make one of these guys, because we'll need them. Axe, we can skip. The arrowhead, we can skip. There's a survival task. Right, nails. Uh, needles, rather. Shovel needles. Yeah, that, will, that requires nails. Everything else? Oh, yeah, and the crossbow. Okay, fine. Anyway, hopefully at some point, this will become useful. Uh, possibly, I'm going to guess that they might choose to make this a bit of a water filter, right? Because in real life, charcoal, charcoal filters are used to clean water, right? So maybe something like ash will help. I'm going to hold off on this yet. Do I have... Oh, I don't have enough lumber. Ah, FML. Okay, I think I have to go chopping down some trees, unfortunately. But there are some trees over there. Let's go chop them down. Technically speaking, I should be going up north to the copper region and denuding that first, but... Yeah. Oh, don't fall into the water. Yeah, I've noticed that the game stutters a lot more nowadays. Early on, it was, uh, it was buttery smooth, but nowadays, it's a bit more stuttery. I don't understand. What's the happening, game? Okay, now chop down. Ah, I need to repair that already. Yeah, every bit of repair increases your skill, so it's not a bad idea to repair stuff. It's not a bad idea to actually use low-quality tools because of that. More repairs, right? Okay, how much does the catamaran, uh, how much does the schooner require? Four, so I've got enough planks. Dried hides. Dried hides might actually be in short supply. Ah, shit. I hope not. Uh, I'll go for another round here. Uh, yeah, I'll risk it. I'll risk it for the biscuit. 3% chance. Oh, exhausted. I'm losing health now. That's okay. We'll sleep for like an hour or something. Hey, get on the boat. Get on the boat. Yeah, I definitely recommend getting all those uh, all those upgrades to the ships. Definitely worthwhile. Oh, it's a crab. I used to hunt you guys. But now don't bother because you suck. <laughs> I used to think that crabs uh, as food were so great, but uh, no... No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back now. I think we should be okay. Oops. And an underrated aspect of the game is the physics. It's kind of underrated, but yeah. The way things stack is actually quite uh, quite attractive. And a bit of a trick that I've noticed is that in islands that have like bad conditions, like for example, Sunstroke here, if you move out to sea, you're immune to that. Or at least you don't seem to get affected. So right now I'm naked. But I think that as soon as I dock in the island, I'll get affected by Sunstrike again. Because it's, yeah, it's about the right time. Okay, so in order to build a schooner, you need all this stuff. We've got the iron bark, and we've got the iron ingots. I've got enough of these, I think. Although, ropes made of skin may be a bit uh, short. There's tools. Okay, let me check out how many skins I've got. Oh, shit. Oh, I've got just enough. Uh, do I have enough? Tell me I've got enough ropes, game. Oh, FML. Oh, <laughs> FML, I don't have enough skin ropes. Oh, yikes. I don't have enough skinny ropes. Alright, fine. We'll do this anyway. We'll do it the hard way. Right, we need wooden planks. Oh, no. I lack one piece of uh, dried skin. A measly one piece of dried skin. Okay. So I do have to go hunting, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. We'll, uh, we'll, get, the, we'll get the construction started. Give me my schooner of Spanish. Uh-huh. And yes, it's okay here. Yeah, the ship's massive. Seriously, the schooner is massive. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll go... I'll do some reading. And then we'll go uh, hunting tomorrow morning. So this book allows you to uh, map during the night and regardless of the weather. And this one should make anything you craft lighter. So I think this one's more about priority, is it not? Yep. Reduces crafting item weight by, by 30. Yeah, so it reduces the crafted item weight by 30. That can be pretty important, right? Especially before you craft all the iron tools and everything like that. All right, uh, it is... I'll get a bit of sleep and then we'll go hunting. Oh, not here. 
Not there. That that ship does not exist. That is a ghost ship. I was trying to sleep in a ghost ship. Okay, now there should be a dog over here. Oops. That was a snake. Oops, that could have been ugly. Um, let me run around you and we'll pick up some bread. Technically speaking, breadfruit. Shit. No, F you. F you, I don't want to fight you. I just want your bread. Okay, charge me. Okay, hopefully he's given up. Okay, he's given up. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to harvest that. Aha! There's a piggy! In your face! And right in the shadow as well. Perfect. Okay, three hides to get that. And uh, I'll take that. Oh! I hate you. I mean, you could have just knocked the guy out, right? You could have just knocked the thing out while it was crawling on your arm. Don't understand why this guy refused to do that. He does not do the sensible thing. Oh, I was exposed to this one. Shit, why? Okay, that's, that. that's three hides. I need more hides. I hear a piggy. It is squealing at me. It wants, it wants to sacrifice it. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, okay, fine. Okay, let's let's kill it here. In there. Uh, we picked up the arrows as well. Right in the shadow. Perfect. Yeah, three skins. Uh, two rounds of drying, and that should be good enough, right? And the only reason I actually bothered bother with salting the meat is because I hate to see anything go to waste. Just kind of feels like a bit of a waste. And the thing is, once you once you salt the meat, it goes for like several hundred days, right? So, which is basically forever, as far as the game's concerned. I'm not gonna upgrade yet, but you can get something really useful with this, the raid leather. But I won't do that yet. I'll take one hour fifty-seven. Perfect. Twelve hours. Okay. Nope. Six more hours. Which is just right for the book. Uh huh. Can map at night and in any weather conditions, which is kind of useful. We need three iron bark branches. Here's the schooner. Final bit of material should give us, yeah. Oh, aren't you sexy? Six hours. Okay, that will take forever. I'll do as much as I can. Yeah, but it won't do. Uh, the axe broke, I think. Yes, it did. Okay, let me craft myself another one. Would you believe that we could just make a stone axe without a workbench? Okay, this is where a good hammer would actually, a uh, good axe would actually help. I think I've got uh, an obsidian axe over here that I won't be using for anything else. So let me try that. Let's compare. So a stone axe says it will take 10 and a bit hours. 42 condition, 10 or 11 hours. Uh, okay, we'll say it was about an hour. So yeah, this is why I don't really recommend, you know, using axes that are made of obsidian. Maybe iron would be that much better, but even copper doesn't seem to be that much superior. So stone is usually good enough, right? For most of your tasks. But I'll use it up here, right? Because yeah, this is basically a one soft thing. Okay, anyway, we have a schooner. Um, I seem to be dying of exhaustion, but we have a schooner. Now what the schooner provides is firstly, a lot of durability. And I think... It's meant to have, yeah, 12,500. But because of my crafting skills, I get 25% bonus, which makes it 15,000. Now, the schooner comes with a couple of things by default. Firstly, a perfect preservation box. Well, the best preservation that you can get, 300. A fishing dock. And an enclosed cabin, which is superior to the one on the, on the catamaran. And also... You may not notice this, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That puts you 19 meters. And if you jump up a bit... Hey, that should be 22 meters. Game, you're lying to me. Oh, I dropped down. <laughs> yeah. It, basically, the ship comes with a built-in mapping spot. But yeah, definitely worth getting up here. Oh, it's 22 meters if you get up to up to the top. So it's particularly good for those for those islands, right? For the tiny little islands that you want to map. Okay, it's a bit slippery, but you can get up there. 
Um, really game? Really game? Why do this to me? Oh shit. Oh fuck! No 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 don't die! <laughs> okay. Oh, um, yesterday and today hasn't been very... hasn't been very good for me, has it? First I fall into the lava, now I nearly break my legs from falling off the, the, the crow's nest. Jesus. Okay, anyway, it is possible to get up here. No, 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 don't do it again. No, 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 don't, 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 don't do it again. God damn. I'm only doing this because uh, this is a game. It doesn't really matter. No, 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 don't do it again. God damn. But I can tell you that if you jump on right on top of the mast, you get 22 meters. I'm not going to show you because apparently my legs want to break, but uh, that is the case. I guarantee you. I have tested it. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. Now, having finished the schooner, that opens up the improved Spanish schooner, which requires a pot, one more set of tools. The material requirements here are basically the total. So I think we just need that. Five, five sticks, a fired pot, and the, the long sticks. So let me pick up the fired pot, which I fortuitously, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, made before starting the ship. Anyway, having gathered the materials that we need, let's go add them to the ship. Anyway, materials, two and a, yeah, okay, so compare, yeah, so you see, for short tasks, it's not really worth upgrading to a bigger axe, right? It doesn't save you much time, which is really the thing that you want to care about. Wait, is there no penalty? There's no chance of injury. Right, 18,000 condition. Now, let me check out my crafting. It is actually better to wait until you've got the highest level crafting possible. Because the thing is, the schooner takes four, four of these sets of tools, yeah. Which is literally like uh, two regions worth of tools, right? Well, you want to get the best durability on your schooner when you're crafting it. Anyway, the last upgrade requires just a set of tools, three long sticks and uh, three small sticks. And as part of the upgrade to the improved schooner, we got a log storage. That's a shame. We got the log storage and got a hearth with a pot, which is the best kitchen available. And they fixed it so, uh, so that now you have a water tank. So yes, you can actually use this as, uh, as water storage as well. So if you find yourself short on containers, yeah. You can either add clean water or salt water, but usually you don't really want to boil salt water into salt. So yeah, this is basically storage now. Storage for clean water. Nice tip if you find yourself short on containers. There is a recipe that's available. Here, smoked meat. You have to find the smokehouse, but I don't think there's one in the new region, right? I'm pretty sure that I've explored the entire new region, but I haven't seen any smokehouse. One meat becomes 46 food and 10 water, right? Which is definitely better than the dried meat. But this one stores for a long time, right? So yeah, this could be a good intermediate uh, spot. But yeah, you gotta find the smokehouse, which I haven't seen. Um, no, I thought... Ooh, shit, boom! Hey, 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 Why am I being assaulted? Hey, this is my house. Don't chase me out of my own house. <laughs> he was a squatter. All right, folks, let us get the final upgrade for the schooner. There you go. I thought the original schooner was pretty great, but apparently this one is literally the great Spanish schooner. Nice. So yes, what does it come with? It comes with a second log storage. So you can now carry 12 logs at once, which is actually quite good. If you go on dedicated logging expeditions, this is actually quite good. It saves you a trip back. And a second large wooden box. Yes, that makes for 600 storage now. That is amazing. No, 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 don't fall down, don't break your legs. No, 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 okay, fine, fine. Okay, I just grabbed on, okay, fine. All right, not doing that again. <laughs> anyway, yeah, in a bit more condition. The condition is now 25,000. Now, one thing unique about the schooner is that the upgrades actually upgrade your speed as well. So it goes from 25, compared to, say, the catamaran, which is 20. So the first level of the schooner is kind of comparable to the last level of the catamaran, right? Pretty similar. But it goes to 27 and then 30 miles per hour. Well worth the upgrades. Anyway, that's how you build a ship. After all these trials and tribulations, breaking my legs multiple times trying to show off the bloody crow's nest, uh, yes. Luckily the game doesn't have uh, injuries like breaking your legs, otherwise I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be half dead. That's the lesson, folks. Do not bother crafting the obsidian axe. It's kind of crap. Okay, so we can make the axe. I'll definitely make one of these guys. Five. Well, I need a pickaxe and I need a shovel. I need that for the perk. I'll skip the axe. I'll skip the axe. So that's two, three, four, 
five. Oh no, I'll skip the saber and I'll get the axe. Yeah, the axe should be good, right? Okay, so let's forge a bit. Let us show off our forging skills. Right. The reason I suggest the pickaxe was your number one priority is because stone pickaxes are rubbish at mining iron. It's okay up to copper. So copper only takes 10 durability to mine one and copper ore. But with iron, it's 20 durability. So yeah, well worth investing in a better pickaxe. Which I definitely should do now. Excellent. Excellent. Now leave these guys for like obsidian or, or copper or something else. Now the shovel. Shovel. For the perks. Just for the perks. I don't think this is useful, but for the perks. So that should have given me a perk point. Is that correct? Yes. So we need to make the iron needles and the great ship repair kit with, uh, with the iron nails. I'm going to build one of these guys later, but trap's not really worth it. And I will build a dock on the iron island. And we'll make the crossbow. And let's get forging. Right, uh, number one thing, the needles for the perk. Anyway, that's the needles. Uh-huh, we get an extra perk point because of our skills. Okay, now we need iron nails. Mm-hmm, new blueprints. Yeah, let's make the base of the crossbow. Mm-hmm. And I may want to save my... Yeah, I've only got one iron. That only requires a set of tools. So we can make this, actually. Oh, the blade. I haven't done the blade. Uh, let's do the blade. This one's really important. Uh-huh. Right, that allows us to make the iron knife, as well as, once we find the plans, the seaman's dagger. We'll find the plans in one of the one of the other islands. Melee weapons, iron spear, not doing that. So we miss out on the iron axe, but that's fine. So we need one rope made of skins, two wooden planks. Got the nails. Oh, and that's the last log. Okay. So now let us make the ship repair kit. Got two planks, two ropes made of skin, and uh, three nails. Got an axe, survival point made. Okay, so the reason you want to make this as a priority is because it fully repairs the ship. Every time you repair the ship, that reduces uh, the ship's maximum durability. So basically you want the best available ship repair kits before you repair anything. Um, so for the crossbow, we need, yeah, the base, a bowstring, one more iron branch, and a set of tools for the perk point. One hour and fifty. I need a hammer, yeah, so I've got a hammer. Perk point. As far as the survival tasks are concerned, I just have to make the four walls over here. Great trap. Dock on the Iron Island and uh, four improved walls, which I probably won't. So one thing I discovered about the level four learning perk is that it does not apply retrospectively. So what that means is that the skills that are already six will not give you any bonus. And if you've been playing the game for a while, then you sh most of your skills should be right up there, right? So yeah. There's still a few things I can get perk points for, but uh, I think this level 4 perk really suits a new character rather than an experienced character. I won't get it. I don't have enough perk points. But this one, this one's really good. Especially if you deal with a lot of bats, so yeah. Although this one would be just as good, right? Double radius. Yeah, so let's explore the Iron Island. I'll leave the crossbow. Let's see, if he, let's see how well we do with the adjuster bow, right? You know what? I'll stay with my catamaran. Should be okay just for exploring. So each dock requires three build kits, so that should be good enough. The reason is because some of those islands are kind of tricky to navigate around, so yeah. Now I got enough water. Famous ass words. Okay. <laughs> Famous ass words. I got enough water, yeah, yeah. You can never have too much water. Um, I need to stop being dumb. You can never have enough water. Fine. Let's quickly check out what the other places we can dock at are. So I know I can build a dock right next to the, the stone dock. Yeah, I think it's on that side of the island. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to hit this little small group of islands. And then we'll build a dock out, which I think is about here-ish. Probably check out the other islands. Here, yes, this is it. Yeah, this is it. There's a puma in here. Mm, although... This may not be a good place to build a dock. It's kind of like a bit shallow. Yeah, this is not a good place to build a dock, is it? Hmm. Unless you really extend it far out. The schooner wouldn't be able to land here, so... Let's deal with the, with the monstrosity here. It's called a puma. I don't think people have seen a proper puma yet. Or at least the ones that... Uh... Oh yeah, we, we saw one on uh, the previous stream. Anyway. There's a bit more room here. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, it's a bit buggy. I don't know if it's a bug. So I don't know if that behavior is a bit of bug, but he goes in for a secondary jump. Even after you parry it, right? Is it bleeding? I think it's bleeding. No, oh, okay, it's bleeding. Okay, I took a bit of damage. And yeah, it gives you Puma Tendons. Uh, which I have no idea what they're used for just yet. So if we explore the rest of the location... There's a couple of, uh, you know, sticks with... Uh, there's a couple of trees with uh, long sticks. There are a couple of... Uh, yeah, there's a Tanner's workbench over here. Not really useful. Drying s skin dryer. And this, which is actually cloth. Yeah, that's well worth getting. Uh, not cloth, a uh, thread rather. And there's a book. Aha. What do you do for me? Throwing. Okay. Um, so this one allows you to move while you aim, right? So if we look at our spear. When I right click to aim. Yeah. You can see that the reticle is not really accurate. So I believe that once you learn that skill that uh, the reticle won't change in size. I think that's it. I haven't thoroughly explored every nook and cranny, but uh, I think I've got most of the goodies. Now how far can I extend this and still not get wet? Yeah, that's not looking good. That's definitely going to get us soaked. Okay, so we could extend the docks from here. But yeah, it's a bit tricky here. You need a lot more construction. Let's go, let's go back to the normal docking spot. But to be honest, if you want to come to this island, you don't really need a dock. The only reason I'm doing it is because of the perk point. So yeah, because when you uh, when you spawn, you spawn next to the temple over there in the middle. It's a very short trip to to get it here. Yeah, let me let me just avoid building a dock yet. Right, that's an, that's a normal spot that you land at, right? The first time you come, that's exactly where you'd land. Uh, let's not drop down yet. Okay, here we go. Yeah, right here. And... Kind of, uh, don't want to drop down. Should I start mapping? Actually, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Let me get up there. Elevation is important, so... Yeah, so I want to get up there, right? Mm. Uh, don't want to drop down here. That's kind of risky. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Game. Yeah. Don't want to be too close to the coast, right? This is actually a pretty good spot. Although you could use that spot over there as well. That's a decent spot. Let's map. 22, yeah. Basically as high as uh, as a crow's nest on the schooner. Uh huh. Right. That gives you a fair amount of visibility. There's a puma over there. Okay, there's one fishing dock over there. There should be another fishing dock on this side, but we've kind of parked here-ish. Couple of jackals. Puma potion. Yep. Iron bark trees. Long sticks. A good tease, which are equivalent of the dogs on the main island here. And there's a interesting sight. <laughs> okay, yeah, there is something up there. And there's jackals, I can hear them. There's probably two. Where? Are you coming or are you going? Oh, he's bleeding. Uh huh, in the ass. He wants pets as well. Hey! Yeah, so the animal behavior seems to be slightly different nowadays. Oh, what is three? Fuck, okay. He's running. Yeah, so what the hell is that? Oh shit, missed. Yeah, not sure what the hell is happening with the animals. 
Maybe it's uh, maybe it's because the arrows cause cause uh, bleeding damage. He's not dead. Now he's dead. Where's the other guy? He's over there. I can see him. Get arrows back. Okay, come at me, bro. Come at me. Where are ya? Oh, he died. He bled to death. Oh, he bled to death. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. Anyway, that's where we docked previously. Oh, that's where we docked this time as well. Anyway, you can't climb up there, right? Or is it there? It's about there, right? There's an entrance. Yeah, there. That leads you to the, to the, up, to the to the higher elevations of the mountain. Ah, chance manger. Okay, never mind. Okay, he's getting late. Okay, so we'll explore this lower area. Generally, should be kind of safe-ish. Yeah, there's a few branches or uh, shrubs getting in the way. There's something up there. This is why concentration is really useful, right? But at the same time, it kind of feels like it cheapens the survival experience. So I'm a little bit ambivalent about it. Okay. Uh Yeah? No, that's not possible. Where? Here? No, that's not possible. I know you can go up that path. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> I couldn't see those guys. And I was, I, was, uh, I was also sprinting, which doesn't really help, does it? Yeah, you definitely can get up there. I think I was bouncing off the stones. Yeah, there. It is possible. Yep, boom potion. This is also an elevated spot. But yeah, we already mapped. Oh, actually, this place would have been better because, yeah, we kind of mapped half the sea, so yeah, this place would have been better. Oh well. Um, might be worth exploring every nook and cranny during daytime. Uh, yeah, okay. Just because you do find a lot of loot around. We'll steal the birds' kids. Yeah, there are sometimes bits of loot in some of the ledges. So it's actually not a bad idea to come during um, when it's lit. Like here, yeah. And I forgot to bring coffee again. <laughs> oh, FML. Guy makes iron pickaxe for mining. Forgets to bring coffee. Lol. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, so the island being windy is actually really bad. This is okay, but the wind chill itself means that we don't naturally heal. Yeah, so I think we explore this area. Yeah, we got that. Mm hmm. Clay. Yes, there are loose bits of loot around. Well worth a look over. Aha, uh -huh, pyrite. Nice. Although, if you explore the Copper Island, you should have had, should have got enough pyrite to last you basically the entire game anyway. So. Right, and that's the dock again, just to na just for navigational purposes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are there are a couple of things you can find. Okay, fine, I'll take that. Fish needles for free. And here's a fishing dock. Yeah. That's about it though. Um, I don't think there's anything beyond that. Yeah, I think this is just pure rock. There is something here, but not really that important. Although... Um... Oh, actually, no, no, you can't get up here. You can't get up here. Yes, yes. Right, let's see. And there are some chests in, in the water, by the way. So you gotta map the water as well, in some locations. Maybe not here, but yeah. There are different locations where you wanna map. Okay, um... I get stuck. Oh, that was close. <laughs> for, for a second, it's gonna get stuck. Mm. 
Yeah, we basically got the border. Yeah, okay. So I guess we caught all the traversable regions on this side. Right. But there is a small plateau, as you can see. There are goats as well, by the way. You can hear them. Not up here, but below. Yeah. Uh, goats are extremely skittish. Extremely. So that's actually a good use for the traps, by the way. If you want to trap, if you want to hunt goats, using the traps are it's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Just because they run away so quickly. Um, is this it? Yeah, here. Yeah. So anyway, there's a dock. We're on here, basically this side, yeah. There's a puma, which we kind of bypassed. There's goats down there. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, wrong button. Yep. Off they go. They're gone. We'll let them come back. Oh, I think they still see me. Yeah. Oh, yes, I should be wearing clothing. <laughs> ah, yes. Me running around naked. And there's a temple, of course. There's a temple. Now, where's the goats? Over there, right? Yeah, over there, over there. Let's sneak from here. Now I'm hoping that we'll get a chance to one-shot them. Yeah, the flu's bad. The flu's gonna get me killed. So they went back to the natural spots. Uh, where's the head? Which one's the head? Oh, that's two goats. Okay. Uh, that was a hit, but not a kill. Oh! Missed. <laughs> that would have been a great shot. Okay, so aside from the arrows sticking from that thing out, um, I should be able to actually should be able to chase it down. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough, and you get a goat skin. Uh, the problem is that the goat skins are only useful for for making a bed. Mm-hmm. As you can see, yeah, you can make a bunk, which is actually not bad. 4% bonus to disease treatment and uh, 18 energy is not bad. But this one's better. And what you need is leather. I mean, a bit of copper as well in a, in a wooden plank. You need as much timber here as well, so right. Yeah, so unless you want to save up on copper, this bed is definitely better. 8% recovery and uh, 20, 20 energy per hour. Oh, there is one way to recover from the flu. We can start a fire. Perfect. Now, being next to the fire should mean that, yes, chance of recovery. Oh, we still get that, okay. So I could sleep now. Now, because wind chill is gone, yeah, now we've got an excellent chance, well, or guaranteed chance to recover. Yeah, sometimes it takes a bit of time to take effect, so... I'll extinguish this. Yeah, let's go. Should be okay. There should be a latent effect from being next to the fire, so... Uh, it doesn't show, but... Oh, look at that, 82%. Okay, that was good. That will recover by itself. We want to finish exploring this lower area, and then we want to climb up to the mountain. I didn't want to go up there with a flu because you're guaranteed to get wind chill, and it's and there's lots of bats and everything like that. It's kind of dangerous. Well, at least it was when I went up there. I'm not sure why they debuffed uh, the bats. They're not really that dangerous. You do have to be careful, but uh, they're not like uh, yeah, they're not super deadly or anything like that. Okay, goats. Oh, it saw me. Yes, of course it saw me. Yeah, the god's not necessary, but anyway, you know the god's there, right? So that's all you need to know. And tends to flee this way, which is oh, kind of blocked off. Okay, let me go around. This path should also lead to the same spot. If not, then we'll know. Okay, here we go. Cross the bridge. And there is a puma. Aha. Yeah, that was a goat. That's fine. Yep. Mm 
Wait, is that? Oh, knife blade. What the hell? Okay. I haven't seen that one before. Okay, that leads over there. That should take us back to where the goats are. Flu became better. Nice. Good. Good, good, good. Aha, there do be more goats over here. So we're, yeah, kind of on this side of the island. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep, someone's been hanging like, ah, uh, yeah. Someone's having fun, shall we say. Okay, Indian diving mask. Now that's why you need the raid leather, by the way. That's why you want the raid leather. So this tree was uh, was used as a as a sacrificial offering of some kind. Oh, it's sunny, isn't it? That's cloudy. Okay, let me let me see if I can start. Yes, we can. Oh, uh, I should explore the interior now. That over there should lead to the second good location, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's fine. Someone's gone. Okay, so we're now healing. Spending that much time next to the fire was actually worthwhile. But yes, yes, yes. Sacrificial. Sacrificial offerings here. It's a bit of a colder sack. Okay, now let's see. Oops, uh, let me... Go back to the bow, because there is a puma over here. Or actually, no, no, this leads down to the to the beach. Yeah, this is where we found that puma, and their small encampment that is, we checked out earlier. And that's where we docked previously. So yeah, is it a faster path? Mm, not sure. Okay, watch out for that. Uh huh. Buffalo potion. Mm, yes. Yeah, there's lots of branches over around here. Lots of big stones, lots of branches. Okay, that leads to the. Yep, there. There's a goat. Bird's nest. That leads it back to the temple. I'm not sure this is a faster path. I'm really not sure this is a, actually a faster path to the temple. Kind of feels like it's the same. Aside from, from skipping the boar, it's basically the same, isn't it? And you know, I don't have any trouble with the boar, so... Yeah, so I think it's basically the same. Right, we'll go with this. Uh, this I may have... Oh no, lucky. Yes, perfect. Okay, so let's explore the interior now. We can actually tuck this into a belt. So we don't have to carry the torch in our hand. But you do want to rush. Or at least hurry. Because the torch isn't going to last forever, right? The torch isn't going to last forever. Okay, let's see. Here. Okay, anything? Yeah, let's suppose. All the bones you could possibly wish for. Although, what the hell happened that the bones ended up on top of that guy? <laughs> so, um, you see bodies like that in places like, say, uh, Vesuvius, right? Uh, it's not Vesuvius, Pompey, Pompey, which is next to Mount Vesuvius. So, was there any? Was there some kind of volcanic explosion in here? Maybe there was. Okay, we're getting heavy. I'll drop the heavy stuff around here, so we'll see you next time. Oh, two massive rocks. I dropped an egg. <laughs> I laid an egg. Uh-huh, snake. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Right, the interior. I'm not gonna bother with the snake. 
Uh, we didn't kill the puma, so yeah, it's definitely here. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ato, ato, putty cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I think that I think this counts as lit, by the way. Right, so that way lies the mines. And this is an interior well, this is the interior of a temple. And yes, you can light these lamps. 16 days. Not really worth it though, because you you're not really gonna come back here. There's only one well, there's two things to find, but that's about it. There's no reason for a second trip, so yeah. One of them should be a mural, though. Oh, is that... A bit narrow. Yeah, two things. One of them is a mural. The other one should be a native map. Mm-hmm. So there's native map. And there's a mural. Mm-hmm. Ancient drawing. Okay, so spear. Makuahito. Makuahito. Some of the Pumas. The strongest of the four tribes were the Pumas. No warrior matched their strength. No hunter matched their skill. No sailor matched their mastery. Great power they were, but that power remained calm. And the times of tribal wars remained in the past. But if there was ever a quarrel between the islands, the might of the Pumas was enough to calm down both sides. It's like that bro that comes along, you know, the muscly bro that goes, Chill bros. <laughs> or something like that. Am I memeing correctly? But yes, nothing else to be done. Kind of interesting though. Because they would have put a lot of effort into putting this together, right? The devs, I mean. But it's just used once, and that's it. Yeah, we'll do a one round of mining. We should be okay for that. So basically, we've explored all the lower all the lower area here. You've got the open area over there that climbs up to the mountain. You've got the docks. And this, uh, this ruined courtyard. You've got the temple over there. And you've got the areas over there that lead to the, to the secondary beach. So essentially, yeah, it's a wide open area. Well worth exploring, but not particularly dangerous. Actually, let's get let's get the potion up there as well while we're here. Yeah, you need a source of light up there. Hmm. Despite what you might think, the lava isn't enough to illuminate everything, so yeah. But there's bats, okay. Bats, 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 bats. Oh, you missed me. You missed me. You missed me, bats. Gotcha. Second bat. There's usually two. Uh, maybe... Usually there were like uh, multiple bats, but yeah, there's the potion up there. But the path is a bit dark. How many did we leave? Seven, okay. So I think one came back, because I left like uh, six, right? Right, so it's a bit dark actually. You can't get through. But there are a few collectibles here and there as well, so... Um, Would have been good to have, to, uh, to have a torch. All right, you know what? It's just some pirate. Oh, failed. Here we go. Anyway, it's just some pirate. Got plenty of pirate back at home. So I guess this would have been. I guess this would, this would have been some kind of sacrificial altar, right? To the lava gods. Yeah, it's not particularly dangerous. You can't kind of like cheese your way through. Uh huh. There. Yep, and you could have missed that. And yes, do not bother going out here. Nothing worthwhile. And behind here, yep. There is another little path down here. It doesn't lead anywhere, it doesn't do anything, but it is here. Yeah, so nothing, nothing to be seen. Uh, 
Well, you can you can see a river of lava there, but uh, that's about it. No loot to be seen, of course. While I have a lit torch, let me check out the other path. I think my torch will go out because the wind affects the torches. But I think it will, I'll be able to uh, get a look-see. Nothing that we've seen, but it does lead to an, to an alternate path on the mountains. Um, I don't think I've explored that one, actually. On any save. I don't think I've explored that one, but yeah. It leads out to the mountain. Yeah, there's a path over here. Yeah, it's an alternate path. I uh, don't think it does anything. But it is windy, so... Right, let's do a bit of mining, and that should strip this place clean. There is another island with two more mines, so yeah. But let's check out how good this is. Now, I did a comparison, and just in terms of time, using a stone pickaxe would send you... Well, it would take this long, right? About this much? At least that much, yeah. It will take significantly longer. In terms of energy, yeah, it would also make a huge difference as well. So, in this case, to mine 7 iron ore, it would only take me 1.5 hours, which is nothing. So the iron pickaxe, well worth it, folks. Well worth it. Yeah, and that will take a couple of weeks to restore. I'm heavy. The game is fat shaming me. So, unlike copper, which was actually in really short supply, it's kind of weird, but iron is actually far more abundant. Or feels more abundant than copper. Not just because there's four mines versus three for copper, right? Lots of things needed copper, so you found yourself short on copper really, really quickly. But iron is not uh, not so bad. Generally speaking, you tend to use it for tools and uh, the ship, and that's about it. The big limiter is those sets of uh, tools. Yeah, these guys over here. Anyway, that's all the iron ore from this uh, from this island. So there are well, the map says there's three mines, but I couldn't tell you where the third one is. Okay, so the sole part of the island that we haven't explored is the path going upwards here. Actually, that leads up to the mountain. Oh, we can briefly check it out. Briefly check it out. That's a stone? Yeah. Yeah, I think this literally leads up to the path we just went up to. Although I could be wrong. And now I expect bats. Oh, the baked cakes are spoiling. Okay, I hear... Yeah, here, there. You coming? Uh, you might be coming. I am lucky. The worst thing about the bats is that uh, usually they come and hit you. Even if you kill them, they still hit you. Do I have a volleyball named Wilson in my raft? <laughs> I mean, we can. But also, uh, my character says, Gears Volleyball. Gears <laughs> Volleyball. <laughs> you don't know what volleyball is. Uh, okay, so yeah, there's another path going downwards. Yes. This is the mountainous path. Although, having said that, is there a difference between speaking to a volleyball named Wilson and speaking to chat? <laughs> uh, Twitch. Twitch. Allowing all the crazy people out there to talk to the audience, to the internet. Are you like people even real? Is chat even real? Or are you, or is everybody a bot? Lol. <laughs> okay, so there's a path going upwards here. Right there. Through... Between the two pillars. There's a couple of parts going downwards. I flew again. Right, now, purple mask. This protects you against sulfur gas. That's right, folks. If you have anybody farting around you, make sure to wear a mask with a long beak. Apparently, uh, people thought that it protected you against uh, against the, the the bile, which I think they thought was what spread uh, the plague. Oh yeah, this is sulfur. 
Oh yeah, basically, uh, so yeah, apparently volcanic protrusions kind of uh, get shaped like this. They take on like uh, hexagon shapes. Okay, so there's something up there, yep, uh, right up there. Mm-hmm. Ow. Ow. Yep, that. Okay, you can't you can parry You can't parry them. Uh, one thing that happens is that when you parry them, they get knocked down to the ground. But they're kind of difficult to spot. Oh yeah, okay, so you can stab them while you... So you can stab them while they're knocked down to the ground. So that is an, uh, that is an approach, but... It's kind of difficult to spot them. Kind of difficult to spot them, so yeah. Right. Now we are not alone. We are not alone. Uh -huh. Can you hear the kitty? So that took three hits. Mm, yeah, not carrying this all the way out there. Not carrying you all the way out there, kitty. So, and also, this area being so far, how the hell is a, is a puma surviving here? That's what I want to know. Do pumas not breathe air now? <laughs> anyway, that was a native map. Not much to be found here, I don't think. But yeah, uh, given that the native maps are not really that useful, yeah. I mean, you can kind of skip this area if you want. Okay, that is back up there now. Oh shit! Ah. Goes down there. That leads to the beach that we saw previously. Actually, no, we spoke about it. We didn't, uh, we didn't see it. But there is a beach down here. The only problem is that you have to go through a sulfur area. So, not really worthwhile. Wait, what is it? Here, there you go, that's the beach. So you can kind of skip, you know, exploring the sulfur area if you want. It's not really necessary. Ah, uh, fish bones. Right, St. Albans. Apparently this skill book allows you to spot big fish in the water. Not sure, I haven't, haven't actually tried it myself. There is a chest down here. Um, but I don't want to get soaked. We'll check it out later on. Why was I exposed to the sun? Oh, because of the mask. The mask doesn't protect you against anything other than sulfur, whereas the, the hood does. Yeah. This leads back to, to the other path. Back up near where the stairs go up, so... Not really worth clearing this. Oh, poisoned. Why, 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 why poisoned? Oh, the flu became worse so that made the poison worse. Anyway, we're back up here. This leads back down to nothing. It's just an empty spot with some flint. Which is useful. How heavy are we? 58. Oh, I should probably uh, go back home. But yeah, you can climb up here. There are some lootables. And this way leads to what I showed you earlier. That path coming out of the sulfur gas. Yeah, the one with all the, with all the brambles. Right there, you can see the brambles down there, so... Um, worth it? No, not really. Not really worth it. Yes. Oh, okay, so poisoning. Yeah, okay, fine, fine, fine. And the flu is killing me. Okay, let's... Can we do something about the poisoning? Can 
Okay, two levels of poison gone, which means just a flu. Okay, we don't need a sulfur mask anymore. And also, let me swap to the spear. Because we're not firing while we're climbing up the mountain. Anyway, here's the uh, stairs leading up. The place is kind of dangerous. And the rain is making the visibility far worse than it would normally be. But yeah, you really want to come up here when it's uh, when it's nice and bright. Or carry a torch, although the wind is likely to put it out, so be careful. Yeah, there is something there. Yes, you gotta watch out for the steam vents. They're timed, so you gotta wait until they go off and they sprint past it, otherwise you get burned. Like then. Yeah. You don't really wanna chance it like I just did. That's that's coal. Or charcoal. Technically speaking. So there are a couple of charcoal mines up here. Aside from that, the path is actually quite straightforward. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait. No need to risk it. Right, so there is something there. Uh, nothing behind here, right? Oh, actually, can I get back? Uh, yeah, I should be able to get back. So yeah, it's got to be careful about falling off. And there's also bats up here, so yeah. Mm, I think this leads back up to that other path that I spoke about. Yeah, it kind of feels like it. Energy is getting low, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that this leads back up to uh, the path on the mines. Is that an iron mine? Oh, this might be that mythical iron mine that I've been looking for. Oh no, it's coal. Oh, hiss! It's a bird's nest, yep. Um, I'll get it, but it's probably not worth the time. Yeah, that's basically the entrance that we came out of, right? This goes into the mines, so yeah. It's okay, not really worth it though. Am I heavy? Or is the wind slowing me down? Oh, that'd be interesting. Now I'm heavy. Yeah, not off oh, five big stones, Jesus. Never mind. Oh shit. Okay, now check the last steam uh, bent. Eight, eight energy. Mm. Okay, we just have to jump up here. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Yeah, and the path goes back up here. Yep, and uh, there is a tree that you can knock over. So that's an example here. You can knock over the tree to use as a bridge.
That was bloody close. Okay, so it looks like blocking hits actually work now. Because before the bats were like, uh, they were, uh, they were kind of forcing their way through your hit and still hitting you. Um, is that gonna be one hour? Oh, that's that's really bad. Oh, uh, how do I get back with that? Oh, I can walk back, and there is a bed inside there, so we should be okay. Yeah, there should be no more vents. But anyway, this path just goes around. Cutting down the tree just allows you to skip some of the vents. It is worth doing though. There should be a skill book if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, here. History of plants. Ah, uh, so this one gives you resin. Yes. So basically, once you learn the skill, whenever whenever you harvest anything from uh, from plants, it gives you resin. Okay, I'm completely exhausted now. Uh, there is another bird's nest down here, I think, or a copper mine, or a coal mine. But yeah, this leads just, just goes, uh, just goes around. So the tree that we knocked down is basically a shortcut. Okay, we can still do this despite no energy. <sighs> Bird's nest. Yep, and that's another charcoal mine. The thing is, the game, if you map the place, kind of tells you that there's charcoal mines. Well, there's a uh, there's an iron mine around here as well. So, but I can't find it. For the life of me, I can't find it. So yeah. Okay, that's a bit dangerous. Okay, there is another coal mine over here. So there should be an iron mine immediately next to it, but there isn't. There just isn't. Sorry if it's really dark. But yeah, that's a bit of a cul-de-sac in uh, here. This this leads down ocean. Yeah, this leads down to the to the volcanic area that we covered earlier, where the uh, where the iron mines are. So basically, yeah, we're at the top of the the path. Now there should be some bats as well, and we did mining up there. Maybe the bats are still dead. They should be bats though. They should be. We did kill a few, so maybe. Yeah, the ones who killed up there, maybe the ones that are spawned up here. Yeah, okay, there's some bats down there. Can you see them? There. Right there. Don't check the spear. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to recover it here. So yeah, missile weapons are a bad idea in this area. Just stick to the spear or some kind of bladed weapon. Are you coming? Yeah, he got me. He got me and I got him. So that's the danger of bats. Normally with other animals, if you get a full power hit, it blocks their attack as well, but not with bats. They still hit you. So that's a nasty that's a, that's that's a really nasty thing about bats. So yeah, that's the path out, right? And we should find the camp down here. Do I have food? Uh should be okay though. So anyway, we've pretty much explored the entirety of Iron Island. We explored this area when we first arrived, because I know where the mines are. We just came down from the path above. There is an iron mine that I can't find. For the life of me, I can't find it. And I may map, I may do some mapping offline or something, or whatever, but... Basically, this is the entirety of Iron, of iron Island. I haven't mapped it, aside from the first area. But yeah, we're in the interior of the mountain. 
<laughs> anyway, thank you very much.